Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Bragg from Braggio. Hello. Uh, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, it's a little bit shorter than most weeks. Um, ben? Uh, it's fine. It hasn't been shorter than most weeks because I won. Again, I've won. It'd be one one less time than what you would have if we were recording at the usual time. Yeah, true. I think I won four straight locals now. So, so really win tomorrow. Go Ace. Yeah, so go um, Ace. I'm... 50-50 on whether I play tomorrow, just because it's the second day of Go Fest and oh, yeah, true. I really want to do those Rayquaza raids. So. I definitely might be playing tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah, I'm very much a coin toss for tomorrow on whether or not I, I bother going in. I'm, I'm probably leaning more on the side of no. Um, depends. Like, we could rock up to the uni at 10, smash out 9 Rayquaza raids in the course of an hour, and then I'm like, oh, you know, maybe I'll go to, I'll go to cards now. But outside of that... Don't forget it starts at 12. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wouldn't have remembered that. Um, yeah, I would have left you and told me like oh, tons of time. Yeah, yeah, would have walked in twelve thirty. All the Rakazas in the world and missing round one. But they'll just get you to give you the buy again. Yeah, let's give it a buy. Not you though. Give me the buy, <laughs> and then I just proceed to win every round anyway. <laughs> I, I, I take I take the buy, and then I just play all the players who are undefeated and just go win, win, win. Easy. So. This is just a local, like, you just got all the locals players, like, uh, figured out. Not figured out, it's the wrong term. Uh, Rescue Ace is very good. Yeah, okay, so yeah, very it is the deck is powerful as well? Yes, the deck is powerful, and I know how to interact with most matchups. And the ones that I don't know how to interact with, genuinely, like, what I have is typically enough. The only thing that I can see being a problem, potentially long-term, is... Uh, maybe Dark World? Um, just oh, just yeah. because everything goes straight from hand to graveyard, it's oh, very there's difficult. There's no on field interaction for yeah, you to actually it's interrupt. Very difficult to uh, work around. And so, those will show up at locals as well. Yeah, like there will still be ways to generally out the board. Like, for example, if they go like field spell and start comboing off, you end on. I, like, you have. Yeah, if they go field spell and start comboing off. If you have the standard combo set up, they will have to target your... Um, if, when they discard Graffa, they have to target your bigger, your Turb. And then you can protect the Turb to stop the Graffa pop. And then they have to... When they bring the Graffa forward, you start being able to play a lot more. Hmm. Which is cute. Um, also, once they make the fusion anyway, typically you just out the fusion very easily. And it's everything else that follows up can be a problem. Hmm. I... I haven't had an issue with it so far, but I can see it potentially being an issue if the right hands come up. I could I could find myself into trouble, especially because like yeah, literally nothing activates if a monster on field doesn't activate. So yeah, so you're you, just like yeah, because they're doing so much in hand and bin. There's like limited points where you can actually go. Oh, I can do stuff. Yes, yeah, very much so. So yeah, it's a good, it's a lot of dancing around, and that's probably the matchup that I see being the worst. I think the other thing too that's like giving the deck good standing is the fact that it's not so much like it's obviously a level of your understanding of what we're all playing but also that people don't really understand how to run, interact with that deck yet that's the thing with the new support it's very difficult to interact with like mm. ash blossom doesn't really cut it imperm doesn't cut it anymore um yeah there's there's a whole lot of ways like the amount of times i've been drolled and just been like this, okay this yeah. doesn't do anything I've just re I've resolved deck. the one search I needed to resolve like if you don't have a second hand trap you lose like you go just don't you think about it like I guess that is it it's like okay yeah. a lifter at emergency uh droll it's like okay cool if you don't have an ash for this emergency you lose you know that right you don't have an imperm for the card I'm summoning off emergency you lose you know that right <laughs> and you don't even have the sinful spoils yet nope that's still when's that release Sneak peeks start of October. Yeah, next oh, set. Still a while away. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I'll just keep winning locals until then. At and the then moment, what happens after that? If he gets in full spoils, then he will keep. Well, there's a lot to happen between then and. Yeah, oh, then. I don't know about that. Nothing. There's nothing. Christmas sure. isn't in the next month, is it? Christmas is. I don't know, Ben. Month. Is it? It's not. No. But <laughs> well, every day is Christmas we'll in heaven. So. <laughs> That's a wild statement. Anyway, brag. <laughs> I, I guess time works differently up there. 
So maybe. Have you never heard if of it's all, If it's all days at once, no. Yeah, it literally never. Christmas in heaven. Yeah, see, without oh, that context, it just sounds ring. like a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is Christmas when you're dead. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in incredible pain right now. I just dislocated my toe. What? I dislocated my toe. Okay. He's podcasting too hard. It's back in. Yeah, yeah, I was podcasting too hard. Sorry. No, he was dancing to ska music too hard when we passed the uni bar. Fuck that. If anyone in that band watches this podcast, the musician's really good, the singer's. You. You have some weak points. <laughs> and to um, further that point, the musicians, because I did get Year 12 music, I know what a tune sounds like, you weren't that good either. <laughs> oh. No, no, there were parts where they were quite good. There yeah, were parts, parts where they were not great, but they were when they were hitting the trumpets, I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, you know, the, um, the bass and the trumpets for um, I Will Survive were pretty on point. The, the chick forgot the lyrics though, so I don't know what that means. Yeah, That's like interesting. maybe Wait. she's going to heaven at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't gonna survive. Ah, uh, my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, it's just a bunch of Master Jewel, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys were playing Master Jewel till two in the morning, weren't you? Yeah, it was pretty late. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh no, no. But Will Bragg was playing until about maybe twelve forty-five. No, I was, was playing until two. <laughs> no, I went into that room and saw it was one, and I'm like, well. That was unexpected. So it was definitely one when I left. But no, he, he kept going until two. Doing my... um, Doing not even like the interesting solo modes where you get like the lore. Like literally the learn to play ones. Oh no. But in the... Does it shock you that I haven't done the learn to play ones? You don't need to learn to play. You're an expert. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting now. I remember the prompt. Um... Yeah, my god. I am not an expert at times with that deck. Well, it's basically, I'm so, I, since I haven't um, done ladder yet, I must be getting seated lower for my, um, the light versus dark. Well, yeah, dark, it... dark versus dark, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so it was just constantly that, and just versing bad dark magician matches where they'll circle pass. And it's me trying to find, do, do the combo to get damage on board before I run out my clock. On a switch, mind you. PC, this is easy. Yeah. Well. Uh, <laughs> your history would say that it really isn't. Um, but yeah, it is a case of, for you, trying to get as much damage on board. Because I, like, I was also watching him do this last night while playing Tyrellum and Orcus. Um, and like also on my Master Duel, just like doing ladder shit. It was pretty cute. I come out of the ladder and both of them are just like sitting there playing Master Duel. Well, originally the concept was that um, like we'd PvP each other, but then the realization came that because he'd be playing on the screen, I'd be able to see his hand. <laughs> so it was like, ah. and I had said I might need help with this. <laughs> so <laughs> you're, you're more than welcome to see my hand, which I just generally play. So what I decided to do was just play along and then watch him. And then as I was like going through my line and then I finished the board and like passed her and I looked up at Braggs, he had like all these monsters on the board, but there was like one monster with a slightly higher defense than what he was prepared to out, but not enough time to deal with it. So he had like five monsters on board and just passed because <laughs> he yeah. couldn't work I'm out. Like, I'm like, there's, they're like with 10 seconds on the clock, there's like, I cannot physically click to unicorn <sighs> in time. <laughs> so look I, I've i got enough answers they've got two cards in hand and one card on board so I'll just pass and just get my 60 seconds back the other thing is too because it's August and you've got Babel there's always something to be done so every time the opponent did something it would ask him would you like to use harp now how about well, now when it gets real tight I switch it off <laughs> You turn, you turn it off and just go, look, yeah, you go, and I'll just turn it back on when I know that I need to do something. But I didn't mind that deck. It was pretty cute. It was... It's fun. Yeah, it was... They worked together kind of okay-ish. I would almost be tempted just to run with it on ladder after it's done and just fuck around. The biggest problem with that on ladder is that you can't get to Rukalos. Yeah. Like, you don't have the freedom of being like, oh, yeah, summon Rukalos. I'm also Rukalos looking... Hmm? Could I just put Rakalos in? You can probably afford to move your mic a little closer. I just want to say that. Yeah. He's going right on the net. No, they go like, got, probably got like, next to the. Go with chain. Hopefully, the audio has been better. 
I, I have a, I think I have an issue with like the software that renders just putting out some shit audio sometimes, which is annoying me. Thanks for sticking by it, everyone. Uh yeah, and that was basically my week in New Gear. Oh, what was what did I get my from my what did I get from my packs that you got me? <laughs> Your packs weren't great. Um you got a uh, frankly egregious number of uh, Valiance Ultras. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, scrap them. So yeah, I've scrap already, those. I already have. <laughs> Perfect. I've scrapped heaps. No cash. No. I also did you a solid and like claimed all of your uh, oh, layman nice. gems yeah. because I know that was an issue on your last pass, and I was because you had like an insane oh, yeah. number oh, of yeah. like things it. from like festival and daily tasks that you'd already completed and just hadn't claimed oh i haven't claimed in a few days i don't know i like claiming it heaps is, it's big i don't like claiming it. it's like 20 i'm like i just claim every morning when i if i turn it on in the morning every morning claim. I wake yeah. up i open up tools I play yeah game. i i usually open it check okay. what the daily things are to do do them I should probably start playing in the morning, to be honest. I do have free time in the morning. Mm. And my brain and is honestly, fucked. And honestly, your pairings are better in the morning because oh. there's less, like, good people on of a morning. I'm not really sure if I'm up-reversing 4am Japanese players, though. I reckon they'll You might encounter a few of those, but probably not at the rank that you're on. Again, sorry. Oh, yeah, true. To... No, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, but the end goal would be I am playing in the morning at a higher level. Yeah, but by that point, you're probably more familiar with the deck and you're probably more comfortable playing against people of a a higher caliber. Unless they open fucking maxi, gamma, fucking every fucking hand trap like they seem to against me. Piece of shit. That's probably been the interesting thing. Or, I mean, I've been going, like, off like a degenerate. And if they didn't, they drew, like, one of them drew effect rallies at six card, as I found out with um, Time Thief. It was pretty funny. And yeah, but just no Max C. And it's just like, oh, I can just play for days. <laughs> this is this is cooked. Yeah, that's probably the best and worst thing about the festival is that like the dark decks, which are either Labyrinth or some variant of combo, can just go off without any checks. Except for Nibiru. That's another light hand trap that I forgot to mention last week is Nibiru is also uh, a thing. N- 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 Nibiru was one that I remembered. It's fine. How about your week? Uh, my week's been good. Um, so I think I went X2 again on uh, Tuesday. Again, I need to make some further edits to the deck. I edited the side. Start starting ed- for this con. Well, I am. I did. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've made some changes for that. That has uh, improved some issues that I was encountering. This is when I'm going to start siding for the side. Oh, you can side for the side all you like. Um, oh, that's fine. You have to pay Firefighter Capture Jar. <laughs> no, I'll just start putting in one copy of Evenly Matched for my crosshair to do this. Um, and then, yeah, so I still need to make some edits. Um, the normal summon that a lot of lists are playing for my deck is Tour Guide to summon um, Fiendish Rhino, Fiendish Rhino, dumps the blue level six, and then you sort of go from there. Um, so that's something I should add so that I'm a little bit more consistent. Because um, the normal summon outside of that really isn't doing a lot, like most of the time. I don't yet. think I've ever seen a normal summon do anything. No. Most of the time, the normal summon is just a target so that I can destroy yes. it and do something else. That's 100% so, what I see every time I see yeah. you do it. So yeah, a more proactive normal summon would be great. Um, and then, yeah, a lot of... Oh, yeah, a fair bit of Master Duel. Um, with the news we're about to get into in a minute, I decided it was time for a new deck. Um, so I've built Dogmatica Ritual in uh, Master Duel. The issue is that when I was playing it in the TCG, element wasn't a thing. Uh, but in Master Duel, currently, it is. So when I use <laughs> either Maximus or Albazoa to send half the extra deck, they're generally sending the uh, Kikalos, which mills five, which then mills another 15, which then summons a Rukulos and all that other shit. So they effectively got to play off turn. Yes. Which is what they do. But I've just done it for them for free. Yes. So, yeah. Maybe, not... maybe don't play that. Well, as of very soon, it probably won't be an issue. If we've learned anything from Terrellman's players, it's that they won't fucking stop playing Terrellman. <laughs> yeah, I just, so. started, I just started reading Terrellman's <laughs> lists, because, like, surely they're going to get to Armageddon Night eventually, right? Because, my god. I mean, Rhino Heart's still the best normal summon for the deck. Is it a three? 
Hmm? Is it three? Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, go. but like, but the time is coming that it won't be, and so you may. I don't know. Just... It just depends if they do. Like, yeah, just depends if they do. Um, and then yeah, uh, finished the festival, and I like finished finished it because I was enjoying it so much. So I did. I've got the Master of Chaos or whatever the thing is, uh, Harbinger of Light and Harbinger of Dark as my little taggy thingies. Um, and I got those sleeves. Uh, so looking forward to whatever's next. Uh, not sure what it'll be. Should be fun. Yes. Uh, but speaking of Master Duel, um, just after I think the uh, sort of festival began, they did announce that we have an incoming ban list. Uh, so this will be coming into effect as of August 31st. And so it's much bigger than other ones that we've had for Master Duel in the past. Actual bands, which is, again, a rarity for them. They tend to, like, just limit things, just little taps this here and there. seems to be like their post-world reset button. Welcome to the yeah, new Yeah, it, do it does feel a bit like that, like but a post-YCS. We're just going to fucking try and murder things. is still there! Eh, yeah. Yes and no. Um, so, we'll start with the Forbiddens. Um, the OCG, to be honest. Agito, the Ancient Sentinel being banned how about the one that we were cutting in february is the yeah. first to be banned in master jewel yep the one you don't play well you the should you, the one that's a one-off yeah is now banned it's well, now I'm, a none-off i mean it would be well i mean it is none of i guess but it would be oh it'd be three of if the rest were one-offs yeah. like if yeah. the rest were limited like it was always like a oh this is always too much i always liked the ghetto though yeah, we'll like the, the <laughs> whole extension arm of it being like oh yeah Summon two level fours and do some milling later. That's fine. Uh, next on the ban list, and this feels super late, uh, Ronga Miniad. Ah, oh, that's fine. It just Yeah, it is fine. It, needs to it be should have been done a year ago, but I'm glad that they got around to it eventually. Yeah, it's one of those cards where it's like, oh, eventually we should... Oh, pr to preface this as well, they stated that we will be banning cards with high usage rate. <laughs> Fucking when Maxi is still <laughs> fully legal. <laughs> yep. Literally three of it every deck. Mm-hmm. Usage rate, 99.9%. .9 yeah, because well, the game is so busted. Yeah, but the issue with it now is that, like, at least before you had the benefit of, like, they would wait for you to commit a special summon to do the maxi, and then you could get some value off and tactics and stuff. It. Now it's, like, the draw phase, because cash, like, obviously just whack a oh, Fenrir out there. Yeah, they so just, like, to... oh, you started your turn? Bug! <laughs> it's actually so, so annoying. It feels so bad, but also you kind of have to be honest it's like uh, any deck well, that's that the thing if they start with unicorn and then you drop a maxi they can just stop their turn and they've ripped a card out of your extra deck yeah and then they've got uh, they've got plenty of answers for next turn exactly like it's actually stupid um next on the ban list and this one may be sad news for ben i just want to check if we're still recording yes I just had a bad feeling like there wasn't going to be enough uh space on the phone no we, on the camera. We, we're okay uh next on the ban list though block dragon yeah. R.A.P. the blocky boy. Too many people will plan FTK to preface this. Usage rate. Use, yeah, on, based on usage rate, Jake, more people play uh, Gemini FTK than they play uh, Ritual Death. Except they don't. They play out of fucking Nancipators. Prove it. I don't have to prove it. The numbers are there. Well, Block Dragon got banned, so... Yeah, because out of Nancipators were using it. No, it's because it adds uh, three Gemini cards. Oh, and it can it just add two Gemnite cards and an Adamantipator? Because <laughs> that's what you normally use it for. Oh, I haven't. That's what I haven't... you normally use it for. Everyone oh. else used it to bring uh, Analyzer. No, not Analyzer. Analyzer? Is that the one? No, it's Obsidian Lapis. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, um, it's gone. Researcher. Um, does the FTK survive without it? You can still do it. Like you can still do it in regular Yu-Gi-Oh today. Why don't you? Because it doesn't have block tracking. <laughs> it's <so> difficult. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do my FTK if it's hold. It, it works better as an OTK now. Where you just like burn for 6k damage and then you just need to sneak in one big hit after that. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Phantasmal Lord Ultimil Bishbalkan. Yeah, FTK piece. Yep. Surprised it's not banned in the real card game. Yeah. There's been a lot of FTKs that get other cards banned. Yeah, and there's nothing that stops it from, like, working in the TCG either. It does Other than TCG. more people running Nibiru and having a best of three. They just incidentally ban other cards instead. Yeah. Which Balkan's always in these combos. It's just a case of they ban the combo. 
Mm -hmm. And then they'll just print another one. Like they'll they'll slip up, print another one in a few years, and then they have to ban that. It's like, or you just balance Bambish the game. Yes. Nah, balance. Who needs that? Well, uh, it's pretty hard though, to be honest. That's why they don't make a new one. And then tier elements, Merly. Uh, that, that was... So only two fuses per turn down. I mean, Which is within the mechanic. actually pretty huge. It, yes. It stops them from being able to just get like that random extra thing. Yep. It also cuts off uh, Sprint and Elf access, or at least easy access. You know what also takes that access off? Benny Elf. Yeah, but they want Sprite around, clearly. I don't know why. <laughs> Only people they're using it are runic. But... Missing Elf in that Dark Festival has been pretty big. There's so many times I'm like, God, Elf would be amazing. <laughs> elf would be so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, level two. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah. Yep. It's not like they're just not going to do those fusion summons off turn anyway. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, well, I mean, now, well now you've only got four cards out of a possible, let's say, generously 20 cards that they've still got left in deck to hit randomly off of fusion stuff. Like... There will be some shit that they have to work out as to whether, like, have to start playing work. poly. Uh, probably, like, it probably will pitch to like a more branded centric build. Um, maybe like um, even Shadol and stuff, kind of like what they pivoted to in the OCG when their stuff got hit. But they had Merly consistently for a long time. So I'm not sure how that will go, but it'll but be interesting to see what they come up with. Merle isn't as good as Sharon though, so... Oh, Sharon's Ultra? Yes. No, oh, yeah. I thought it was Supers. Oh, maybe it's it Super. Oh, no, I think Sharon is an Ultra. Well, Merle's definitely not Ultra, so no. that's... Yeah. yeah. That's why it's bannable. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have to refund you. Uh, we move on to the limits, though, um, and I have to immediately take back one thing about um, them wanting to play... Uh, Sprites, uh, yeah. because Sprite Elf and Swap Frog are now limited. Yes. Wait, Jet? What Jet's did I say? also limited, I think? Just Jet. Sorry, I, I oh. said Elf. I do that okay. all the time. I keep swapping them over. Uh, Jet and Swap Frog are limited. Expect it. It's fine. The Swap Frog is because they still fucking paid two Swap Frog in every deck. Yeah. Just to get an extra rank too, because... Well, the thing is, like, you'd play Swap Frog and Nimble Beaver and use... Yeah. the swap rob effect and you'd be able to trigger both and chain block and all that nonsense yep, 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 yep. cut that shit out S still only need one though yeah you still do only need one but it also stops you getting because Ronin's still legal yeah yes they don't have toad but they have Ronin so it was just a free if it came up in your combo it was a free rank too yeah it still yep. is isn't it? just mm. one though. I mean if you open the one of it's a lot it more difficult it only gets you realistically one body instead of two uh -huh. because you'd go swap frog send Ronin bounce it discard summon it send the swap frog banish summon run now you, you wouldn't have the one swap frog you'd so have you, to play some other frog oh, sorry I thought they were linking away it was only the one like you only had the one out I didn't realise you do the bounce which yeah. makes sense because the bounce is pretty good yeah, yeah. Um, also limited Kelbeck the ancient vanguard uh, that was the one that we had at yeah. two still it's now one yep so now you can't they have a mill and a hand one? trap the hand trap yeah it's a bit sad I liked it yeah the, they but they they ruined like the main game they were needed for tier like especially the shufflers but just milling against poor people like poor people that are just, just oh, yes, they hit have poor fun people. I mean <laughs> the, the paws mill the poor send your deck to the graveyard poor <laughs> I mean poor not povo like uh, oh like uh, unfortunate yeah the unfortunate poor souls that are here and go oh no you've milled my you know my key cards you fucking love that meme. Actually, the fact you're wearing straight up looks, right yeah, now. like that's um. <laughs> 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 uh, moving on, uh, we have the grass looks great. Oh, that was a psych gag, by the way, for the yeah, listeners. Yeah. yeah, for the watchers, uh, enjoy. For the um, listeners, what jump movie on is YouTube. From? Uh, the animated Robin Hood movie. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Actually, a lot of our audience is probably too young to know what that fucking is. It's fine, I'll send them a meme in the Discord. Yeah. If you haven't already, at some stage. Go to our Discord for dated memes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah, so the grass looks greener, uh, now at one. Weird. I'm always a... I can't be bothered. Bandit will put it at three. I don't like grass not being at one or two. Or being at one or two. Can you search grass at the moment? Yep. 
Jo, yeah. Left arm. Yeah. Just, I, thought, I thought left arm was gone. Just the, classic, the classic way. Yep. Uh, Is left arm the three? Probably. Hmm. I can't see why it wouldn't be. I was never see it. I guess the only spell it ever searches is the grass look screener. Grass with thrust. I mean, thrust isn't out yet, but sure. That's not, that's a nice play. Grass with thrust. Yeah, that's my. Your thrust. opponent goes full fucking combo. You just like, oh yeah, cool. I start interacting with you. Oh, I got negated. I thrust. Uh, and finally, on the <laughs> limits, uh, branded fusion. It was going to happen eventually. It's still Poor ludicrously. You say poor Jack. I haven't played Branded in either game for what, like six months? Yeah, but you like the look of purple. Okay. I mean, oh, yeah, you also question. played Gem Knight FTK, so you also like the look of purple. No, no, the Link's the best part yeah, about that. Say, that yeah. The Link doesn't do any burn damage. The Link's it insane, does burn damage though. to you. The it's the reverse of an FTK. It's incredible. But it enables. Add any card in your deck. Also, fusion from Grave or Banished. Do both. So, what does it do from Grave or Banished? Fusion. Mm, yep. yep. But it's a link. That card didn't exist. That's one of the more busted links we ever got, to be honest. That facilitated so many FTKs. It got so many cards banned. Uh, cross style. Quartz is great. That, I don't think Gemini no, FTK. Is, Quartz is the next link cross. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not link cross banned. It fucking didn't. <laughs> it simply didn't. <laughs> no, we won't we went button that. I think it did. Nope. He agrees. Semi-limited. We move on to Blastar, Dragon Ruler of Infernos. Oh, uh, no. Went back to one last list, so now they're just bumping it up a little bit more because Dragon Link won't even play it. Is Tempest still at one? Probably. We're getting there. That makes little sense. <laughs> um, is there a world? They must have looked at the usage percentage after it went to one. It was like zero point zero zero five. People 000 still 000 play 5. Tempest more. <laughs> Up it. <laughs> but that's the thing. There's so many good dragons that like the power of Tempest is now nil. So like this doesn't improve upon that at all. Is there a world where the like the dragon rulers can sneak into a dragon deck that also if they not if they have a level seven they can bring back a dragon ruler that they've just pitched or linked with or whatever and then that can turn into any rank seven shit that they need. I mean, most of the busted rank sevens are gone, so should be fine. No, we don't have the other one. Give us back all the dragon rulers. We're getting the new dragon ruler XEs. Give us it back. Mm. Oh yeah, we haven't found out what that does yet. Also, uh, semi-limited, uh, Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Didn't realise that was a one. Anyway. God, that was a good card. I mean, it's still good for the Is deck it? that it's running. Oh. It's just the decks that it's running uh, die immediately to Kashtira. Who was playing Pendulum last night? Oh, you. In that, in, yeah, my God. In the... I don't understand why it didn't work. Someone explained to me how the Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon combo is supposed to work. Actually, you would know because your mortal enemy, uh, enemy uh, killed enemy? you with it. What do you mean? The oh, maybe you kill me with it. Dark Rebellion so, Xyz. You dragon. know those ones that are like if it has an Xyz as material, so they do bonkers shit. He had Odd Eyes raging up yep. and uh, just Odd Eyes Dragon. He yep. had the the Pendulum Scale that set its level to. At, to being a monster level 7 and yep. then he couldn't do anything it just wouldn't let me overlay them I'm gonna, I mean I should know but this is so long ago I've never tried that with Raging Dragon yeah I'm because I was, that's what I kept saying to him like, I'm pretty sure you meant to do the Auto Eyes first I know that much Auto Eyes goes first well yeah. sorry yeah Auto Eyes Rebellion goes first then Raging I know that much it's mm. fine but it's fine it doesn't it matter work. I ended up winning anyway it was fine oh yeah I mean <clears throat> Uh, also similar to it, we have Pot of Extrav. Makes no sense. It does. Cringe decks. Fuck them. Yeah. Those are the only decks that play Pot of Extrav is like, ah, oh, set four, summon fucking Fossil Donor, pass turn, Did suck it, an idiot. Every draw spell though. <laughs> yeah, fuck them all. But we need draws. No, we Jake, Jake in a year is going to be like, I have no consistency in my Unchained deck. <laughs> I have no uh, no consistency now. <laughs> it's fine. I used to love it. I'm a designer. Yeah, you used to be on the um, extra train real hard. You've still got the collectors red, ain't you? Yeah. Well, 
it was just I repped it didn't have it got it then immediately got power crapped by well, yeah well not power crapped and it's it, they are different cards but then they also bought fucking they bought Desires back to two so yes it's like Desires is just better I'd rather lose 10 cards from my deck and whinge about that than fucking <laughs> whinge about extra bullshit or I just draw extra off extra every time or Desires off Desires every time <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why it's best. And that's what's going to hurt now. Well, at at two, you're gonna if you draw off just like extra off extra, oh, be so filthy, and it's going to happen. Good. But not to me because I don't run extra. I should. Okay. No longer limited. We have ancient fairy dragon. Did nothing at one. Yep. Uh, probably will do stuff in future. Uh, just not right now. Not with the carpool that you only play Marshall one of it. Currently it's, has. it's fine. It's it's that's, irrelevant at three. That's a level seven dragon. Yeah, it is. Mm. But they don't have revolution synchron, so yeah, the card until, that uses it until they get that card, it's fine. In after that, they'll yeah, they'll we'll rush see. they'll rush that out. Like they will like they will want that in. The fact like, that we could assault synchron like before we actually had it in the physical card game was a bit much. Yeah, like they will. They'll, they'll get that to us because that's just how they are and we'll wait forever for Rescue Ace Go Ace! Or Pearly Or Makanko Makanko's never coming mm, We'll see uh, Next though Nadir Servant back to three It's fine It's for yeah. you Jake It is for me It's for you I'm very happy for it Yeah Look it's there if this is this is these are twenty twenty problems, not twenty twenty three problems. Exactly. Until we get it, can come back. Lilith. But my God, if something goes wrong, you'll be hearing about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally, Gisu the Orcus Mech Knight, back to three. How does that make you feel? It's pretty good. I might give the um, Hand Loop Mech Knight variant a go on Master Duel now. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> Because ripping half the deck, extra deck, it's good, but it's not enough, you know? You just want them to not be able to play cards. Yeah, because I want Pashtira to feel in... the pain that I've felt. Does it put them in the grave or put them in the deck? Puts them in the grave. Oh. They, like they can't fuse that. if all their shit's in the graveyard, Ben. I thought that's how it works. <laughs> not if they don't have extra deck targets to be able to fuse into. They can mill all they like, but unless they've also sent a shuffler from their hand, they can't do shit. I'm confused. Aren't you playing Mech Knights? Yes, yeah. but it sends the entire hand and extra deck to the graveyard. Oh, okay. Let me, I, you can't I fuse if you have no fusion targets. You've ne literally never resolved this full combo with me watching. No, I haven't. Literally never. Because Go Ace. I've repeatedly asked people for Pot of Extrav to enable the consistency, and I've repeatedly been denied. I'm sorry, did we, did we just have this conversation about how... <laughs> You've been asking for extra? Yeah, no, not extra. Sorry, Prosp. Oh. I wanted Prosp specifically. Yeah, I Blake said he would loan them to me, then sold them. Blake, uh, yeah, you wouldn't right. let me have them because you needed them for Dragon Mates. I play them in literally every deck now. Yeah, they're good. No, yeah, he plays them in um, thingy at the moment. Yeah. Go, Ace. Anyway, back to three. Uh, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen the tin prices for Prosp. Oh my god. I'm, is it even in the tins? Or does it make that up? It'll get reprinted again this year. Well, it's, it's, quite... I, well, it's in the fucking 20. It's in the, It'll be in it's that. It's in the other pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want it in the tins. I want it as a... Yeah, it'll be a super. Then. I want supers. I know that much. So, um, oh, yeah. Would you say you guys were satisfied with the Master Duel ban list? Yeah, it's fine. They yeah. did another one ten days later. It's okay. Oh, you're real much joking, motherfucker. Anyway, yes. Uh, several days after they announced this, they did uh, update this ban list uh, to include that MX Saber Invoker will be coming to one. On the 10th. 29th. But why? On the 29th. But why? Ah, what are they promoting question. with it? Uh, it has to be something. Well, at uh, the same time, they're getting uh, like effectively like the side set of Master Duel, where it's got like Black Luster, Soldier, New Ritual, um, some Obelisk Tormentor card, and that Red Eye Soul card that like sends oh. a vanilla and makes itself level 7 special summons itself. Because yeah. Dragons need an extender. None of those are Zodiac. No. Zodiac, oh. though. Yeah, when's Rapier going to? Never. Um, really weird for them to have added that, and really weird for it not to have been within the same time frame as all the other shit that they announced. Don't really understand why they did that. Yeah. 
Makes no sense. Making no sense. Anyway, uh, moving on to some product news. I'm uh, open to them doing this. It's just a weird call. Like, why for Invoker? It's it's such a stray, stray card. Like, if they came in and went, like, uh, Max E, for example, went, you know what? No, nah, we fucked up. Max E, like, we, like, we were having deep arguments about it. Here it is. Late amendment. Sorry. Like, it makes sense. They're like, sorry, it makes Saber Invoker. And make it early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so moving on to some product news, we did have another announcement of a support card from Valiant Smashers. Uh, this one is for uh, the Centurion deck. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Uh, quick play spell uh, either puts the Centurion from uh, your deck in your spell and trap zone, uh, but you're locked into Centurion uh, extract monsters for the rest of the turn. Which makes sense because it's... Well, I mean, which doesn't affect it because the one that you're adding, you're going to special and then you're locked as well. Yeah, you're locked anyway. Yep. Uh, and then the other effect you can also do is set a Centurion spell trap directly from your deck. So yeah. it just, is it just a generically can't be ashed special summon? Yeah. Yep. Cool. It's quite nice. Yeah. Wait, does it? So it sets a spell trap. Sets yep. a spell trap. Yep. So you just can't set other quick plays and use them. Yeah. So you can either set a trap for next turn, or you can set a con uh, normal spell, which yeah. I don't know if they have. I can't um, remember. Sure either. <laughs> I feel like they have a continuous spell and the field spell. Yeah. Um, wait. Can it set the field spell? doesn't say I can't. My field spell's pretty good. Field, well, this field, field spell's what enables off-turn play. If you don't have that, you can't do shit. Oh, that's familiar. <laughs> centurion to... Cyframes? <laughs> oh, centurion. When Centurion Harp? <laughs> yeah, where is Harp? Synth at three of Master Duel. Give me Harp. I'm confused as to why... Well, I get why we ever had problems with Cyframes, but nowadays it's like, I've opened full combo, and I'm like, so you you negated one thing and ripped a card out of my hand, and now you have an open board and you're dead? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I suppose in the earlier days, there was a lot less you could do. Yeah. Like, if like they we, opened one or two interactions and ripped a card out of your hand, that was effectively... You are fucked. You done. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of those people were resolving stuff with cards on their field, so... Cyframe players, they all cheated. That's what we know now. No, they all just played Lambda before Lambda came out. Yeah. And it was invisible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a tune card. Ooh, you can't see me. I'm back in the book. Back in the book. <laughs> Lambda. Uh, so yeah, uh, next bit of product news, we have the official announcement for the Fire King structure deck here for the TCG. Um, so we know all the cards in it, um, well not all the cards in it, but we know like the ones that have been announced. We Let's haven't see. got announcements for reprints and stuff as yet. Uh, they are giving us 5 Ultras, 3 Supers, 40 Commons, 48 cards total. Oh. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Okay. Um, yeah, just seems like they're going to be doing reprints and stuff in this one as well, but again, they haven't announced what they are. Uh, release date is 7th of December. Oh, so it'll be just that's before so YCS. Yeah. Assuming we get a YCS. It's so the rank 7s all that matters. Hazy Flames support. Rank 9. Eight, eight, what? Hazy Flames. What we've about got, since we've gotten everything else, will Hazy Flames get support by the end of the year? Absolutely not. Announced. No. Maybe. Fiverr. I mean, it feels like the easiest Fiverr I've ever made. You got yourself a deal. Uh, Do I even have $5 on me right now? Oh, I mean... Oh, so this it's is just a for figurative five dollars at the moment. Yeah, it's a figurative five dollars folded like this for no particular oh, no, reason. I spent, I spent my money. How high <laughs> def's the new camera? I mean, it didn't pick up my um, plea for help last week. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. We should have. Um, I, I was thinking about editing something on there before. I saw <laughs> my art. Yeah, you would have edited "I Heart Rushdals" or some stupid <laughs> shit. Hockey knows me, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Hazy Flame announcement. Okay, so announcement or release. Like, obviously, it can't be released in time. But I'm, t I'm talking announcement. I'm saying that <laughs> I'll wager $5 that by the end of this year, so December 31st, yeah. 2023, yeah. there'll be no announcement for any direct support for Fire King. Uh, but whatever. Hazy, no, Hazy that Flame. One. I agree to those terms. I would wager a further $5 that yeah. there won't be any announcement uh, through to December 31st of 2024. <laughs> <laughs> The double down, all right. Long term like, double down, but no. But next year is all for an attribute we don't know. This year has been five, 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 five. 
Yeah, but it, we're only getting all that fire, fire, fire within October. So in theory, if they're doing a whole year of it, there's up until but October as soon as next Japan year. Hits, as soon as Japan hits the first, they're just going to stop thinking about fire decks and they'll yep. start thinking about dark again. They'll be like, man, that was a weird year. Let's, let's go back to thinking about dark so we can do DM support. Anyway, yeah, Link, yeah. Link 7 Orcus Monster. <laughs> Um, he wants it. That's, I don't want that. I don't want to have to think about how I'm getting a fucking Link 7 Dark Monster on the board. Fuck no. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. You summon Orchestron all the time. Absolutely never. Literally never once. <laughs> and it's such a shame because I like the artwork as well, but it just does nothing compared to any of the other I, cards. I remember back in the day when Orcus came out, I read Orchestron and was like, this deck sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm meant to do. What did you play for that, YCS? Uh, was it Gemini? Which YCS was it? Orcus. Uh, Sky Striker, Orcus. Uh, Dino. Uh, day 2. Uh, yep. Boring. Um, next up, if my phone would stop closing the internet browser. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, read that one already. Um, so uh, we do have uh, just a little bit of news from the OCG. Um, they announced a little while ago that they were doing sort of a music to duel by two CD or soundtrack. Um, man, yeah, man. I saw that yes. at the shops when I was there. $80. No, you didn't, no, you didn't because it doesn't come out until November 29th. No, 80, no music to duel by one. Wait, the English version? Ah. Uh, huh. It was in Book Off for 80 bucks. I was like, hmm. If this was 20 bucks, I'd buy it. You don't pay eight dollars for no matter what, in and glorious face up, and face up, face down, attack and that defense. stupid ass song with um, Tristan and Taya singing about friendship and garbage. I fucking hated that song so much. Anyway, uh, music to duel by two or uh, Yu-Gi-Oh sound to duel quarter century selection uh, coming out in November in the OCG is coming with a promo. Oh. oh. Oh my god, that's how we'll buy CDs again. That could work. That could, <laughs> that could work. <laughs> I mean, it got you guys to buy Rustle fucking... Yeah, like, we've got so much... Oh my god, if they did promos for... They should do crossovers for, like, um... Everything. Well, that's what Ed Sheeran should have done with Pokemon. Just put fucking a promo in, in that album. My god. Yeah. Didn't they have promo cards made, or were they just fan arts? They were fan arts. I was going to say, I remember seeing, like, a you Katy Perry with... <laughs> I remember seeing Katy Perry with a Pikachu on a card. Um, I think it was. I think it was um, Ed Sheeran with Charizard. Maybe he doesn't get Charizard. I thought Blastoise was his favorite. I don't fucking know. I just remember them being on cards it's with the Pokemon, the but I can't remember if they were made. <laughs> Why are you ripping into Ed Sheeran so much? Leave him alone. They play that song on repeat in the Pokemon Center. And it's pretty. It gets on your nerves after the. Second, <laughs> why don't I they play the Viridian City song? The only song that should be played in the Pokemon Center is the Pokemon Center theme. And whenever you're like paid for your transaction, it shouldn't be a cha ching or it shouldn't be a da ding. It should be correct. It should be that, and it should be free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, back to uh, music to do by two. Uh, the promo, the promo that it's coming yeah. with is a quarter century rare Karibo. Huh. Oh. That's kind of cool. It's cute. Yeah. I don't mind. Just it. normal like, art? Well, yeah, we don't know. Yeah, I'm assuming it'd be normal art. Uh, and then... Well, God, that... That'd music. That'd be... Um, I wonder. I wonder what that would go for. Yeah, that's a good point. I haven't looked in a while. Yeah, it's a good point. Still rolling. Uh, I wonder if that, is, if that is the Japanese version. Then their soundtrack was always kind of miffy. Not that the English version was better. I don't know if I'd pay. Well, I'm just wondering what would be on the soundtrack. Like, is it just stuff that they've used on stream and stuff? Like, the Master Duel stuff? Well, they would... I mean, if it is a... If it's a 25th anniversary one, I imagine they would also then pull out, like, fucking uh, the same... The song they play when he's killing Weevil with, um, Breaker. Monster Gato! Yeah, because there's a song there that gets played in memes every now and then. Then you've got Kyber's theme and whatever. Yeah, I suppose they'd have, like, all the main character <laughs> themes and stuff. It's just going to be the songs that they play at YCSs during the in-between games. It's just going to be those songs on repeat. Oh, you mean on the stream? I was thinking yeah. back to do our do YCS. Do I was do like, do I swear they don't play music when we're there. Do 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 do. 
the guest Ding. though yeah the waiting music for Master Bull <laughs> you kept doing that last night too you were just singing along to each track as it was coming along yeah um next and I think the final bit of news that we have oh well, yeah last bit of news and then we move on to a bit of a free form discussion I guess if we have some time uh, we so time. we've got a upcoming uh, Japan YCS over in Nagoya uh, that is being held on November 4th uh, they've announced the uh, participation stuff that's coming out uh, so they're getting a specialty copy of the sinful um, sinful swallows eye yeah the um, the, back the card I plan to use in snack nights mm-hmm um, but then they also get their commem- commemorative dual set, um, which comes out with Archfiend Glitch, I think, which is the one that's like if you have a Fiend, target a card, destroy it, and then send a Fiend from deck to yeah. grave. Uh, the Labyrinth uh, yeah. Field Center and the Labyrinth Mat. Uh, they're pricing at about 4,000 yen at the moment. Oh, so they've up their price oh, too. Oh, and sorry, it's not a Field Center, it's sleeves. It's yeah, 100 yeah. sleeves. Which is interesting. You'd pay you pay forty dollars entry to a tournament that has sleeves and a mat. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, funny that sleeves and a mat and two promos. Why would you not? Seems like a good deal. Hint, hint. <clears throat> uh, so yes, we are in the region of the year where there's potential for ban list. Oh, keep going. He's okay. just, just extra paranoid today. Clearly. Yeah. Because I don't know how much storage is He's on. He's paranoid. Oh, he doesn't have a song. So yeah, we are in a bit of a, a region where ban lists are potential. Um, we are getting very close to Christmas. Uh, so what are we feeling like is going to be the most problematic decks moving forward and like how much they're going to address what's happening at the moment? Reset button. No way. No, I think I think they just hit everything that's just been lingering and floating around, and they clean that shit up and go on we go. But what decks do you think specifically are going to be most impacted if they well, do? Cash bring is going to get yeah, They're going to do. The, they have to roll out the rest of those cash hits. Yeah, cash is going to get murdered. Isn't it, is cash even topping in yeah. regionals? I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. it's around, but like it's not yeah, oppressive it's, though, isn't it? Cash? No, it's, it's oppressive. <laughs> oh, I thought it was still cash. Oh, uh, cash. But so just the full version of both of them. What, what are you saying? I thought we we're both talking about cash here. Yeah, oh, I thought you said tier here. No. no. Cash. No one oh, says I, here oh, at all. <laughs> cash. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, that, that needs to be murdered. It needs to be, but do you think they're going to go the, the distance? Is Fenrir... I think they kind of need to, but I guess the question then becomes what in that deck do you actually get rid of? Like... We, we should have predictions anyway. Do you, know, you guys not have predictions for that? I've got some thoughts, Come but I thought we'd guys. start with a free-form discussion. <laughs> Take your glasses off. No. It's very rude. Also, sitting at the table with no, your hats he, on. He's had them on for 45 minutes. You can't expect him to come off now. You can't look me in the eye he's hiding. and tell me that I'm not prepared. He's not looking. He's sleeping behind those. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you call you Nola? <laughs> it sounded um, like it. <laughs> so... Well, yeah, so that needs to be problem murdered. Uh, we're probably going to also see checks to, again, like Pearly's probably going to get a hit in here. Um, there's a whole lot of just big problem cards that have become, that, that threaten to make the next format. Haha, I hit you with my win button card on turn one, I win. So there's a, there's a fair few things that need to be like cleaned up. Mm-hmm. Let, let's go with that. I'm not, but I'm not sure how to pick what they will actually move on so when it comes to the predictions stuff like i can speculate and think and go oh they should could or would i'm not entirely sure that this will be a big list though shall i discuss my predictions and then we can use that as a as a base of conversation please let's start off with with banned cards uh first card banned eradicator yep epidemic virus Mm -hmm. a card that has won various World Championship qualifiers. <laughs> like, that card coming up was just auto win buttons on stream at major events for the past three, four months. Yep. Very much is the, the first card that needs to be banned. And I just thought we'd get to this day where Crush Card's back at three and we don't really give a fuck. And now it's Eradicate well, is the problem. Well, Crush Card's been. Eradicate was always kind of better than Crush Card anyway. Yeah. 
I think it was just previously harder to like yeah. justify the target that you'd have to do for it. But then I'm when like, you've so got well, Dex, yeah, Grapha, Lady Labyrinth, like shit. That's just like, oh yeah, I don't care if I go to the bin. I'm coming back. Yeah. And also, four out of the five cards you had in your head, gone. Yeah. You wanted to play spell cards to get back into this? <laughs> Idiot. No. <laughs> you don't do that. Um, you want to play spell cards and play the game? Let's go. Next up card uh, that I think is going to get banned uh, the Hot Red Dragon King Calamity. Yep. Another card that, haha, I made my win button turn one. I win. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Goodbye. The thing that's particularly egregious with that, and it's like people can say open the ad all you like, but like the second that hits the board, you actually can't respond. Yeah. The game is over. They have likely won. Yes. So, yeah, that was my, my second ban. Like, and you can ban that card and it doesn't do massive damage to Manadium at they all. S- they can still set can up still an set up incredibly formidable very board. Good boards. But isn't that card's existence purely... Like, it was printed without effect, so that would have to be them admitting it was a mistake if they just hit it. Oh, the yes. idea that... They wouldn't hit the Manadium stuff or the other Synchro Turbo no. stuff? No, that card is busted. And it's there's, every time they print good Synchro cards... Those decks are just gonna be like, how can I make this on turn one? Yeah. Okay, how can I do this card? This is how I do this card? Okay, good. Off off the rest of the game. The thing with the card when it was originally brought out, like when you think about it, it was in Cyframe era. Like there was no consistent and viable way to get that out off turn. So when you were making it, you were making it into established boards in order to out what was already there. Yes. It so even in a world where it's being played in the correct deck. It would, it would eventually be oppressive. It eventually would be ban worthy yep. no matter what. Because if they just print, like, I mean, when we get his shit. Yeah, the Jack Atlas stuff is coming. Like. Which is just designed to make stuff like this easier. <laughs> yeah, and when you've got a card that works so well in that deck in um, Dispater, it's kind of cooked. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's just, yeah, I, that makes sense. Like. It's just more of it. Just feels bad because it was printed to do that. Yeah. And it's like so maybe it shouldn't have been printed to but, do that. But again, <laughs> it was it's it's a victim of its era, right? Like it was printed long before it was that kind the time of time inter- when doing that was like, oh, that's really cool. You managed to do all of that. Now it's like your opponent opens a two card combo. They do that. I, know, I still felt pretty degenerate. Back then, yeah, even even, if, even with a three four card combo, it still felt pre- like it's still oh, pretty yeah. shitty. But even then, like more often yeah. than not, even if they pulled that off, they probably weren't going to kill you next turn unless they yeah. open cracked. And that was the balance of like the three to four card combo. If they've put all their energy into doing that, chances are they won't have enough to swing back for lethal in the next when turn. Without it, yeah. And like it, like I said, it's a victim of its era. Similar to VFD, within the time frame that it was very first released, its effect probably wasn't that bad. Because again, they probably couldn't yeah, swing VFD back. VFD was pretty bad from day oh, one. Like it was bad, but then it you bring it into slow, the context of the yeah. time of when it like was an actual problem and it was actually fucked. Yeah. Because like not only did then, they have that, they had another two monsters that they already had on board, and they had enough to get to fucking combo next turn. Like, so maybe the designer should take this into account of, hey, sure, level 9 seemed pretty big and not summonable right now. But will yeah, it? But that's the thing, I feel like that limits card design. I feel there's, like, there's definitely a balance you can strike, right, between making good cards within the time frame that they're released, and making cards that are like, oh, this is going to be a problem later on. Or so, releasing crack cards that they can just pump into the ground and ban. It's one of those things that Konami's always had an issue with, is like, the balance of the game, and that's the only benefit of them still having a ban list. Otherwise, rotation is the way to go. But anyway, that's a whole different discussion. Yes. Uh, any other thoughts on bans? Cast your birth band. Birth band? Yep. yep. Yeah, I had birth band. Mm-hmm. Yeah very logical card to see bend like that card is extra normal summon special summon from grave or banished it accounts for two bodies yeah alone it accounts for two bodies on top of the fact that you also get to rip your opponent's extra deck if they're playing spells oh they rip your opponent's grave sorry you go flip that stuff you plan on using later no 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 yeah where it's just like okay uh, I've got infinite result like you either have to one for or you have to you have to factor this in or guess what it's just going to build up and build up and build up 
Yeah. I mean, actually, that's a lie. I mean, you'll be over by game turn two anyway, but... Correct. <laughs> Still, it's... gives you advantage on turn one and turn three. Yes, very much so. It's an absurd card that... Let's get rid of that. The The real question is, you probably need to do another hit to cash tier outside of that. Yep. And it's probably the limit of Fenrir, Unicorn. Mm. Yeah. Probably both. Put them both there and be like, yep, you get one of this, one of this. You have your Rise Heart. You can make it if you want. It's like... Yeah, cash can... can cash peop, cash fans, whoever they are, um, cause like, can still play cash. And getting to... Like, getting to a Rise Heart without birth is very difficult. Yep. Like, you have to open absurdly well because you can't get the second free seven. Yeah, they'd have to go into, like, the cooked shit that they did at the very beginning when they only had the three... Um, monsters yeah. and be like oh yeah I'm just going to play like some random mech knights and I'm going to play yeah. the yeah, fucking thunder thing that summons itself three ways to get to seven and those cards are bad and those cards see you lose the game so yeah Do I you... think that's the fairest way to kind of go about that oh, there's some there's some level seven extenders they could use that wouldn't cost them the game yeah. I'm sure it's fine don't freak out when that happens because it will <laughs> Um, next off, I was probably going to think something like Sleepy Memory. Sleepy Memory is the one that makes the new one. To ban? Yeah, uh, to one. To one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just put Oh, no, well, yeah, Sleepy, yeah. to what OCG Both of the good XE's materials to one. And OCG should hit, um... Happy Memory. Fat Memory. Delicious, delicious Memory? Yeah, delicious. delicious Memory. Fat Memory. <laughs> the plumping. Yeah. <laughs> the plumping. <laughs> I can't help but think I've missed one of the cards that I wanted to have for my bands. Well, what other problem decks are there in the format? Do you think it's too early for fire hydrants? Oh, it's too early for fire hydrants. Fucking, when you're playing against like other stuff, it's not that good. Oh, so like, so your cash matchup's still rough? No, the cash matchup's easy as fuck. Cash matchup's free. Oh, well, that sounds like they need to be cut down a peg then. Yeah. There's there's other stuff in the format that can come up that causes problems. It mainly the cards that have auto win buttons on term on game one. Because open it in out. Because it's very loud in the OCG, so they know it's coming, so it's yeah. up to them whether they do or not. Which they've ignored the decks that are doing well before. I mean, they hit Pearly fairly early for us. Right. And comprehensively. It did. Right. There, was, there was a lot going on there, yeah. It was there. I like that. <laughs> I has given that I comment a thumbs up. I wish we had the OCG limit first. Losing the Sleepy, because the Sleepy is crazy. Yeah. But the, the fattening makes it work. <laughs> I'm going to call it that forever now. Um, another deck that I was thinking of bands for, but couldn't really rest on one for, was Dragon Link. Because <laughs> oh, that, that deck yeah. has yeah, yeah. spiralled out of control. I think we can just have Striker Dragon Band. Just Band Striker. Yeah. It probably sounds a bit biased, but I don't think that's enough. I don't think that is enough either. <laughs> You'd be surprised. You Band Striker Dragon, you turn off... The they still have white dragon three... serpent, black dragon serpent. They'll do that for off... another dragon engine. They <laughs> still have <laughs> three quick launch. Yeah, but they have to open it. When it's not once per turn, it just seems. Yeah, but at it, the moment, again... if they open the quick launch, it's nuts because they just get the free extension. I don't think it's enough. Also, without the way to get the field spell, they don't have the free revives and. Also, it's bad. Like that, not bad. It's it's not a free card that you can pop off. Uh, so, like, Striker Dragon does so much because you can pop off Tracer, the field spell, that you've searched for free of Striker Dragon after you've used the field spell. Like, Striker Dragon alone has the potential to give you four, maybe five cards. Like, just going into that one card. It. Uh, I think they could do it to stem the bleeding, but they need to figure out something else as well. Like, they'll find some other cool shit. Yeah, like, dragons have just gotten to a point where they oh, have maybe so to many do. resources. Maybe dragons should get another chance after losing Striker Dragon. Which, they almost certainly will find another way. I don't know, I feel like they need something else. I couldn't really rest on anything, whether, like, you do decide to ban Quick Launch, or whether, like, like the Searcher for Dragon Ravine, maybe? Um, ban Ravine? Or maybe even ban Chaos Space. Oh, I big. remembered what the other card uh, to ban was. Nightmare Corrupt Ebly. 
Yeah. Okay. Just kick it while it's down. In Brisbane, that card I saw on a lot of tables, locking a lot of people out. Demand yeah. answer. Yeah, it's it's a card you can summon from deck for free with gigantic sprite. Link it off, lock your opponent out. Yeah, like, like it's, it's it's a win button if you don't play the answer. Yeah, I suppose if you group that in the same sort of category as like King Calamity, um, EV. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Th- that one, and what was the other one I was thinking of? Um. And like to an extent, like it's not as prevalent anymore, but people are still doing it. The um, nightmare lock for branded, like those cards definitely shouldn't be in the game. Yes. Any card that like you're like, oh, I've played this. Your turn is over. Shouldn't exist. Yeah. Um, one other thing, shifter. Shifter. Hmm. Could we see shifter get banned? Is it a good enough card? Given that it will be, it, so, there will be a time where again where shift is fucked. We are also potentially entering a format where rescue ace is good. You can play it pretty comfortably in rescue ace. Yep, and you don't have an issue. Yeah, so I guess it just depends. Like, if you're in the mind of Konami, would you view the the bans that you've committed to Kashira, assuming that we've done the ones that you discussed? Yeah. Would you view that as enough to go no? Look, leave shifter. It's generic. It's not archetypal. It's not actually the problem. Or would you go? You know what? Yeah, let's look at future problems. It is an issue now. It'll only become more of an issue later. Let's get rid of it. I think they should get rid of it. Like, and it's a card that I could put in my deck at any point. I will probably start side decking because I need to change my side deck. It's it's all right. Need some improvements, but yeah, it's Just a it evenly. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put in three evenly. Yeah. Oh, how is um, Designator working for you? Incredible. Designator's great. Because mm. I can play around one hand trap and then just have the Designator for the other. And at, no, at that point, I'm just like, I can't be stopped. <coughs> okay, cool. I'm invincible. I show where you need to ash. You didn't ash. Cool, I've got the Designator for the Imperm. <laughs> Good game. Um, yeah, so that's that was my thoughts on things that should be banned. Um, limits, we've already discussed cash tier hits, we've discussed hits for Pearly. Um, potentially we see a Dragon Ruler come back, just bring back another one. If that Xyz is a Dragon Ruler Xyz, we're gonna need to bring all four back. Potentially. Like, realistically, all four are gonna need to come back. So, Tidal Redux or Redux. Next. Yeah, Redux next. Bring it back. Tidal's the only good one at, at the moment. Yeah. Tidal's the Reborn? No, no, Redux is the Reborn. Tidal's the yeah. What does Tidal do? Mill. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Um, do you see any potential hits to brand it? No. Like, unless you're banning Gimmick Puppet. No. Yeah. There's just no point. There's no need. Probably shouldn't do that. Like, I think outside of that... Sorry, I'm just checking what I had written down. Outside of that, probably some runic hits mm-hmm. would be comfortable. Um, I don't think oh, there's yeah. there's a need for a lab hit. You can just if exist. You've rid of... EV's a big enough hit to that deck. Exactly. So yeah. You don't need to stress too much. Do you want do you want to hit skill drain like everyone else? Um, yeah, maybe. Like if that if you need to probably check another lab hit in here, you don't need to hit the lab deck itself. You can just put skill drain back to one. That should never have been a three. Yeah, I had it flipped on me the other day by Leo after he I interrupted his Dragon Link combo and then he flipped Skill Drain after I had just done my prosp and I was like hmm I just prosped my out to this board with a Skill Drain on the field <laughs> uh oh <laughs> this is a problem see I had it flipped on me the other day too in that same matchup but the thing with my deck is like it does interact on the board obviously but a lot of its interaction is either spells or traps or in the grave yeah. like so much of it doesn't actually happen on the board yeah, that I was like, go. yeah, because this Half is the game like... spell and traps and monsters in bin, but no, a little old negate on field is too much. Yes, a little old negate of all things on field. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I can't play under it either. <laughs> Shut <laughs> the fuck up. Like, I don't, I That's don't, how I like it. <laughs> I don't mind that card coming at me in trap decks. It's like once something gets above 3,000 attack, I need certain cards in my extra deck to out that card. 
like it was, I think it was like a bestial this bad out, and I was like, I can't out this because I just prospered away my out to this. This is a problem. <laughs> I also had problems with Dispater. <laughs> yep. We're just playing the same matchup here. Um, yeah, and I suppose in the opposite vein, what do you feel could come back? Honestly, not that much. Yeah. No, really. like, the ban list is pretty comfortable at the moment. Like, right. yeah, I feel. Yeah. Well, is there anything they're going to push, right? Well, that's the thing. Like, with the, with the Jack Atlas deck coming out, that are the, the red hot bans, like, Bit so, so I'm not sure that will happen because that kind of contradicts their plan. But I don't think there's really anything else on the table, like on the table for them that they can bring back. They mean, yeah, like if you're looking specifically in the vein of like what's going to help this structure deck, then yeah, there's not really a lot they can bring back to help. They cut Max E from the 25th anniversary slot. Like, I mean, that's the card. That's going to be the card difference. So that's not coming back. The more and more I play Master, the more and more I'm like, fuck, I like not having Max E in the game. It's actually so nice not playing under Max E. It's so good. I just like, like playing degenerate combos. That's what they're saying. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. My I just don't like my Mech Knight set up two spell and traps in the back row with a link monster is not degenerate. Well, that's de no, that's degenerate for other reasons. <laughs> like, I can play under it and rescue Ace, but other decks, it's just frustrating. So let's not worry about Maxi. Maxi just make something better. Banned. Make it make a better nib. Do we need something better than Nib? We get any grass decks coming out? I'd like some grass decks. Oh, please no. I like grass. I hate it. I hate Only it there's so a field much. spell that could counterplay combo decks. Let's play Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, it's never coming back. Never, ever, ever. The people that say it can, go fuck yourselves. Yeah, look. <laughs> I mean. I want skill drain that I don't have to pay a cost for. Thank you. Fuck you. Well, don't build big boards. Let's go to the question section of the podcast. Let's go to the Because questions. this was one of the questions and we didn't segue from that question into this discussion. So It's fine. It's all right. We have another one. Uh, so yeah, our first question was from Jesse. Ban list when, ban list what? Uh, one thing we didn't discuss is when we think it's going to be implemented. Uh, it'll be in like three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks time, eh? Yep. All right. Write it down, Remember, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, Christmas in heaven. <laughs> that still sounds like a threat. It does sound like a threat. Why am I reading my emails? Why are you reading your emails? Uh, our second so question. Slip through to there. Our second question this week comes to us from Cheese Man. Uh, with the current lockout of King Calamity, um, yeah, we kind of already discussed this too. Uh, the press button win deck, uh, win game cards should fuck off. All of them. Yes. But what defines a press button win card? A... If you can finish resolving your combo and go... And you've won. So FTKs and cards that go, Oh, I've done this one thing that you haven't had a response to, now you can't play. Your turn is skipped. Yeah, but if you hit those, then we'll just start whinging about the next set of boss monsters and go, I can't play under this. That's like that's that's literally oh, two thousand. There's that's always going to be a monster. problem, but there's a difference between oh this is really. Slope. There's difference between skipping and being able to fight back against it. Yeah. <laughs> like there's a difference between that and having a deck where it's like oh yeah you've got that I can dark rule you maybe pick apart your board a little bit. Yeah. yeah. No. It's when cards are like oh no 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 this has happened. Your turn is over. Yeah. We are back to me on turn three. Oh thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I do. I, I, I do I give say some self. I'm gonna. I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> <laughs> ben turns Ooh. southern for a minute. I say. I say. I'm gonna I'll murder say, you. Say, it I is say, Christmas say. in heaven. <laughs> it is Christmas in heaven. And are you a day so? <laughs> I do say. I, I say do so say. <laughs> I do say that is full combo. <laughs> Uh, our last two questions come to us from 6 r 6 uh, mm. What is your favourite Rustal rarity? Uh, also, uh, Jake skipped a question last week because it was about Salamangrate. Uh, Where was that? You skipped 6 r 6 asked a question last week about do you reckon Salamangrate or Salaman average? <laughs> and Jake just ignored it. Completely ignored it. Maybe I answered it in my head and then, yeah, Salamandid. just moved on. 
But yeah, it's like the new support. It's Salamander Bridge. It Salamander just, it just does the same kind of stuff with like a funny Link Four that comes back. Like I, I don't care enough. It's Salamander Average. Uh, anyway, yeah, favorite Rustal rarity. I'll answer this. None. Uh... Not the gold. I'm, I'm not big on those golds. Depends. Some cards look nice. Some cards are confusing as fuck. Yeah. Um, there's a yeah. I really I like overrush rares because the detailing in them is quite nice. Yeah. Um. Ultras aren't supers. Ultras and supers aren't they? Your choice is between gold rares and overrush rares. Or uh, well, the stuff in your extra deck. I'm assuming that was overrush rares, right? Oh, there's also the secret rares. Yeah, some of the secrets are cute. Yeah, those are secret rares. Those are secrets. Okay. Yeah, actually, some of the secret rares. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, secret, the rares. secret rares. Yeah, yeah, the secret rares. Hmm. Secret rares, nice. And then last question: uh, What are you looking to for? What are you looking forward to pulling from the rarity collection? Assuming. Let's see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's always one or the other for you. It either flips up, it doesn't make noise, or only makes noise. Let's see. <laughs> 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 anyway. Um, we don't actually have a list for that, right? And when's it set to no, release? We have, we have, we have a, a rough we, we, list. Yeah. Well, we we based it on the OCG because ours is seventy nine and theirs is eighty with Maxi. Yeah. But yes. that's not really. No, it's happening. Official. Locked in. It's locked in. It's got. I imagine it's completely different. It's, it's just. Pro, pro this this is my fear. This is my fear that they're just kind of come swinging in and be like, "Hey, like I'm gonna be real. I Here's already Gemini probably Elf. own every yeah. card in this set. Yeah. I will take whatever I can get." If, if there's a rarity box. where I'm like, this individual card, now that I can see it, looks really nice, I'm going to get that. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Like, ahead of time, I don't really know what I, what I kind of want. Super pros, super pros, <laughs> super pros. Um, in terms of... Oh, like, my hat here. Ah, <laughs> ah. Um, That's why the hat's still on. The only one that I'm thinking, like, again, based on that list, like, there's obviously a huge amount of wish cards that I'd love to have, but in terms of, like, a card that I want... It would only really be the quarter century Fallen of Albaz, and that's purely because I hated the fucking alties. I yeah, the hated those so much. I just didn't want to pay someone ninety to one hundred dollars for a car that looked dog shit. Didn't I sell it to you for like thirty bucks? Those were Lugas. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, I also was... didn't like those, but well, again, for forty dollars, they look better than the Albaz. Yeah. Yeah. No, the Albaz look trash. Um, so yeah. Uh, I remember seeing in the OCG, again, I'm not sure if it was part of the Rarity Collection, but they had the field spell for adding Nistas in the sort of new ulti rarity. That looked really nice. I would love to have that if that was a thing, but I don't know if it is. Yeah. Having seen a lot of those firsthand over the course of the past few weeks, there's a lot of those printings where I'm like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> You're not a fan of the new ulti? Uh, the, the new Starlight. Like way it looks, that looks fun. Wait, what's a new Starlight? It's like Starlight that has like sparkles on it ah. as well. What sets are they in? I didn't think we got Starlights this year. They'll be in the rarity collection. Are they the prismatic? Prismatic Starlights, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So they're like a That's Starlight a... that mm. has oh, like so, and we've seen them speckles. Now. They they were in Japan. You could just go and have a look at them. Mm. Oh, I thought they just do them. They just fuck them up every time they do it though. That's, like they're all. Yeah. It's what they're. Set, they get those Priz Starlights in their sets and it's like... But our Priz Starlights could look worse. No, it says in the advertisement, it's like oh. exactly the as same as the OCG. The OCG. <laughs> yeah. The ulties also... That'll still be different. ...kind of look... No, because they said that about... Um, the ulties said, have the, the raised embossing and then it's like, and there's a bit of sparkle. No, there's... Get rid of the sparkles. Give me the embossing. Sparkle, sparkle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it would be good if they actually gave us like a list of things that was coming out in that soon so we could stop speculating. Again. We don't even know what's in the fucking tens. Yeah, we do. No, uh, we're not done yet. I mean, we thought oh. we knew and then there was a fucking new Noble Knight card this morning that he didn't talk about because he hates yeah. Noble Knights. Yeah. No, because it's a leak and we're not allowed. It's not a leak. It's it a fucking is. It's a photo. No, nah, it's because he hates I, Noble Knights. I just want to say. There is that. The fucking art and the name is dumb. <laughs> It's so fucking It's very specific stupid. to law. And also, the, you, I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, um, that does... Um, the Jake doesn't want to get banned from you, you. No, I don't, because it's all I've got going. Jerome can kiss my ass. <laughs> Man doesn't want to send us any product. <laughs> Fuck you. Jerome plays dueling with friends, so... Yeah, Jerome duels with friends. Yeah, so he's... You're no worse than us. <laughs> if, you ever, if you ever do fight C for G, Inc., 
Yeah, we're incorporated now. Yeah. <laughs> we're an LLC. <laughs> Don't research that. Uh, <laughs> invest. <laughs> <laughs> Please. We need the money. CPG <laughs> coin. <laughs> Cowboy coin. <laughs> <Beep -beep. laughs> yeah. When you buy it, nothing happens. You just lose. <laughs> you, yeah, you just lose like $100. Yeah. <laughs> Nope, there's only trash in there. <laughs> <laughs> that concludes us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are listening, please favorite us. It uh, really helps us in the back end. If you are watching, please like and subscribe. Uh, jump into our Discord. Uh, feel free to ask us some questions for next week. And we'll catch you all then. Peace. Peace. Wait, sometimes we don't know what's in the tin. <laughs>